All right, today is June 16th, 2022. It is a Thursday, and today, um, oh, it's also day 332 of web development. And today I'm going to basically work on what was I was working on yesterday because I didn't finish. Um, I'll show you what it ended up looking like. I mean, I did finish, but then I said I was going to do one more thing, and then I realized it's not working out. Um, but yeah, this was the goal, right? So that when I... Um, click add to cart this little modal would pop up um and then if i exit out of it it would disappear and then the um extra thing that i was going to do was if i were to click on this one then a modal would pop up here but um that was not the case like it was just not popping up so i have to like work with that today so what i'll do is i'll just go here to the code and I'll basically um, make a copy of it. So I'll go down here and I'll fork it and then I'll change it to be, um, what day is it again? Let me check. Day 332. <clears throat> All right, so where did I go? Okay, day 332. All right, so it's popping up here that's good it's just not popping up over here so because I deleted everything so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try and see I'm just trying to think um, I have this um, modal here so in my CSS <coughs> where's my stuff Right, so here's the modal stuff. So, in the modal, well, this should probably be below it. Or maybe here. Or maybe not, I don't even know. Actually, let me put it here. Alright, so we have the modal. Right now, the visibility is set to hidden, right? Until um, I click on until modal is targeted the visibility is set to hidden but once the modal is targeted the visibility is visible and how is it targeted well if you go to card one and you go here to add to cart which is this button over here when i gave it a hashtag modal so basically what i when i click on this link on this button it brings me right to back to the modal which i gave it also an id of modal right and so that's what it's doing. So I'm just saying when it is targeted, then the visibility becomes visible. And then when the X is targeted, right, which is this little X um, up here, um, the modal's visibility is going to become hidden. So that's what happens. All right. So let me think. So I need to do the same thing for the second one, and I thought that if I were to copy and paste the code and just change the name of the things, that it would be the same, but it's not working out, and I don't know why. So it's kind of weird. So I don't know, maybe I'll try one more time to copy and paste. Um, if I go back up here to the modal, and um, I'll just take this, right? Because if you think about it, it's not as if it's not there. It's there, it's just invisible. So it's, I don't know, maybe that has to do with the fact that it's not showing up. So I have this, right, modal, I'm just going to get some spacing in between so I know what I'm working with. Um, Alright, so each modal I want to have the same properties. The only thing that's going to be different is the image container um, and the modal content. Um, it's still going to have ID modal. So in this case, maybe I'll do modal 2, which is what I tried doing yesterday. And so when I go to card 2, I'm going to make sure that it goes to modal 2. And so what happens is that when modal 2 is targeted, I need the visibility of um, dot modal hashtag modal 2 to become visible. Is that how you spell visible? Visible, yeah, sure. All right, but that's not working out. So I don't know if it's because it's a hashtag. I don't know. Modal 2, right? I go back up here. Um, where is it? Over here, right? It has an ID of modal 2. Has a class of modal. So maybe what I have to do instead is go back up here. Instead of setting the visibility um, 
here to hidden, I'll do that individually. So I'll do hashtag modal, set the visibility to hidden, and then also do hashtag modal2, set the visibility to hidden. All right, so this is modal two. All right, so real quick, let me comment this out. So we comment out by doing a forward slash and then an asterisk. So for the image container, I'll go down here and I'll call this image container. I'll give um, this an ID of um, image two. And so I'll go over here and just do hashtag image two to target, not to target, to select the ID. Um, and then, well, yeah, no, to target the ID. And then I'll just kind of do the same thing here, but instead I'll just do um, card two image, which is this one here. So I probably should just copy and paste that and then change it up to be this for this, right? So it's gonna be the green one now. And then I'll probably go over here and take this color and override um, the color of the buy button, which I called, um, I'll give it an, an ID because it doesn't have a specific ID. I'll do um, A2 maybe, really bad IDs, but whatever. Um, so I'll go here and I'll do hashtag A2 and change the background to be that color. Okay, so that's working out. Um, Let's see, now when I hover over A2, I need it to change to a certain other color, maybe like a darker shade. So what I do is I go to this um, web page called Colors and you go to the color palette or palette generator. And what that does is you input your color and then there's like an option to select, like to see the shades of that color. And so I just take a shade less. So I just paste that in there. Oops. Let me just paste that and just take this color right there. Um, here is a shade and I just take a few shades darker and copy that and then just change that color. So now when I hover over it, you'll see that it becomes a darker color. So now we know that that's the difference between modal 1 and modal 2. Um, <clears throat> so at this point I'm going to comment this out. And it should be hidden now. All right. Um, so this one works. I need that when I target this at the cart, it needs to go back to modal two. So card two, it has to go back to modal two. Interesting. So. Interesting. Um, I don't know. Modal to target. It's working for this one, so why wouldn't it work for this one? Um, oh, this is the problem. <clears throat> let me think, let me think. Okay, um, Modal to target, modal to visibility visible. So when I have this, when does it end? All right, so this is card two. Let me do something real quick. Notepad. Wait, am I recording? Oh, I am. <laughs> All right, um, I'm just trying to find where my notepad is. Like, I try to switch it up. Notepad. <clears throat> right, let me just paste this in here for clarity and then I'll paste also the mode on all right so if I think about this right I have the modal which has a certain class and then I give it an ID of modal too so that it has the same properties as the modal in general but the ID um, is like individual properties which i said like visibility set to hidden right and so i said that when i click well that doesn't really wait why is this 
Oh, oh, okay, never mind. All right, so then over here I have card two. So this is like the activation here. So when I click, right, on this A link, which is um, <clears throat> a link tag, um, well, it's called the name tag, but it's for links. Um, so I'm telling it to go to modal two. And so what that does is when I click on this link, it's going to bring me over here, right? So this should be targeted, right? And so my CSS is basically saying, okay, when modal two is targeted, right? Then what I need is for modal modal two to have the visibility set to visible but now that i think about it um this is literally the same thing so i don't really need that so i could just have that so but i, I tried that yesterday and it also didn't change anything so let me see i don't really need this oh oh would you look at that it worked are you serious but i literally tried that yesterday and i have video recordings i have proof you're gonna tell me yeah how are you gonna tell me this bro like i literally tried that yesterday and i have actual proof and it didn't work it's probably due to something else all right <clears throat> okay so i fixed the issue thank god um turns out but it's weird though because why wouldn't it do that um does it only take in like because it's an id is it because it's an id because essentially what I had here, um, it reads, what does it read? So it says, when modal two is targeted, how is it targeted? Well, again, when we click on the add to cart, modal two is targeted because when we click on this link, it brings us, right? The href is where it, that link brings us. And we're telling it to go to wherever, um, whatever div has an ID of modal two. And this over here has an idea of modal two, so it brings us over here. And so that means it's targeted. So whenever modal two is targeted, then modal two, the visibility can be set to visible because if we go back up here, we know that the visibility for modal two is set to hidden. So when we're saying when it's targeted, then our visibility can be set to visible. And when, tar when we target is when we click on the add to cart. Um, which, Is that even working anymore? Are you kidding? Like, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm literally so done with myself. I was like, why is it not working anymore? Because I added this again. Um, but this is literally the same thing as this. So you don't need this. We only use when it's like we want to change something else when we target one thing that's not related to this. But if so, for example, let's say I wanted to change the color of like A2, then we can do, okay, A2... Or maybe it's just that it doesn't work with links. I could do H2 and maybe change, um, oh no, because that's, no, never mind. Let me do something else. Um, what's something that I can change? Maybe, um, the, uh, container or something? Do we have a container? Do I have a container? Yeah. I can change the border five pixels blue solid or not I, just, I don't even know at this point all right so maybe I can change the background I don't know hold on what's something that I can change the background Whoa. weird so maybe it doesn't work like that. It only works with A's. Oh, maybe because I need this. No, that only works with other things. You know what? Never mind. I'm, I should probably do research on this. Anyway, um, so we'll do visibility set to hidden. And that should be doing that. Because basically my point that I was trying to get at is that I basically repeat the same thing. Like modal two is literally modal two so i don't have to say oh when modal two is targeted then do this for modal two no because we already selected modal two so when it's targeted then just do that to modal two all right um so that should work no 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 save jesus christ imagine now what visibility
Okay, now what? Literally, now what? Because what did I do wrong? Did you not see that it worked and now it's not working? Tell me how that's possible. Tell me how that's possible. It's always because I want to show something else and then I mess it up. You're kidding me. <laughs> what did I do now? It's the same thing. Did I spell something wrong? Hidden? Is that not how you spell hidden? I'm questioning myself now. Modal to target. But it literally just worked, bro. said it was supposed to be hidden it's supposed to be visible see this is why we need sleep yeah yeah all right um did i forget to reload you're done did i not save it if this thing doesn't show up okay are you kidding me now it's not working here someone literally come and save my life right now because i'm so irritated does it not work is it because of the push it's literally working, so tell me why. Tell me why. Come on, let me close this. Let me close that. Go here, debug mode. This one works. Oh, thank God. Okay, so that works. And now let's work on the background. So, um, what was I going to do again? The background. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know. Oh my god, I know! Stop! Oh my god, I'm gonna do a linear gradient with the two colors. That's gonna be looking so good, bro. Okay, linear gradient. Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, um, alright, so I'll take these two colors here. So I'll take my color picker. So it's 84BFE1. Copy that. Paste that here. I want it to be on the right side. And then this one is, um, B3E140. Whoops. Whoops. Alright, something like that's just kind of the opposite. <gasps> Some of it. What the? Ooh, that's crazy. move this over here kind of like that okay so i'll take this css here copy to clipboard and then just go to the body and change just delete the prior background and then a really nice linear background should pop up and then the last thing is the container so the container could be way better um what can we do? Do we want to delete the container background? We could delete the background. Let's see what that looks like. And the border. Oh, oops. I mean, we could have something like this, but I feel like it gets lost in the background, so maybe not. I do want it to have a background. So I'll do a background, but maybe something like, um, I had this before, I just don't know. Maybe we need, maybe I just need it to be smaller. So maybe margin, oh, that's why it wasn't working. It was an XPX instead of PX. Like, what is XPX? It doesn't even exist. I mean, it's working. Um, let me see. What am I doing again? I forgot. It really it looks actually really really good like on this side um but i generally forgot what i was doing i was trying to make it smaller yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 
So, okay, um, I still don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm trying to think how to make it smaller because it's like not working. So, margin. This margin thing is just not it. You see, it's not even working. Like, it's only happening. Like, why is it not working? Oh. <laughs> Oops. I mean, it is working, but it's not as I intended it to work. So, we could end it up with 50 pixels, but maybe it's the padding that I want to work with. No. Because usually when I change the padding and the and the margin, it makes the card smaller. So I guess I'm going to have to manually make the card smaller. Okay. Um, we could do three. We could do three. I meant to do not three. Um, five. Now they're just too small. Um, do I like it? Do I not like it? I don't like it. So we'll do how we had it. All right, I'll leave it like that. I don't care. Um, and not to make it responsive. So I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to do my media queries. So max width. So when the screen reaches a width of 800 pixels, I need the container... Um, or whatever has the grid to have a grid template columns of literally just one column so save that and then it should be responsive right there but it needs to be more responsive earlier so maybe a thousand so we'll open this up here and then that should happen here okay perfect so that's looking really good um, that's looking really, really good, actually. Only thing is now... That's fine. It just needs to be bigger, though. And probably not in the center, but we could fix that some other day. Alright. I think that's really, really pretty. Alright, um, I think I'm done. That's what I wanted to do. Um... There was one more thing. Ugh, every single time I say there was one more thing I want to do and then I mess everything up. Um, when I clicked on it, I wanted it to have... Is there anything that contains the modal? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where is it? The modal is here, right? So maybe there needs to be a container. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to make the same mistake as yesterday. I'm just going to click here on fork to make a copy. And um, I'll just be like delete. So I know to delete this later. I'm just trying to just play around with this, right? Um, I'm just going to try to play around with this. I'm going to make a div class called modal container. So what I'm going to try to do is basically when I click on add to cart and the modal pops up, I basically want it to have to basically create an overlay um, of everything else. So like to make the background gray so that the modal really pops up or, or, or like pops. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, so we'll do the same thing over here. So I'll do div class modal container and then and that here. And then I'll go over here um, and I'll do, where's my modal? I'll do dot modal container and I'll give it a border of five pixels black solid so I could see it. Um, where is it? Hello? Oh, it's over there. I'm going to give it position absolute. It's going to end up being in the middle. Oh, that's a problem. Um, a height, I need it to be 100%. So at this point, I probably need it to be after the body. Alright, and then a width also of 100%. Alright, so let me see what that's looking like. Save that. Debug mode. All right, so it's looking like that, but that's so ugly. Um, how do we fix this? Is it because of the body stuff? Yeah. Oh, this sucks. 
So you think that I can I'll make another container? <laughs> um, so make like div class container. I'll do like a wrapper. Wrapper is another name for container. Um, and then I'll go. Let me just copy this and then click on this and then try to see where it ends. Okay, right there. So I'll just add another end div tag there. Do this right here, wrapper. And then I'll just do dot wrapper. And I'll give it the same properties as this. Right? Um, and then just delete these. Probably don't need this. Um, delete that. Alright, so now... It's actually still not working. Um, so delete that. Um, where is my stuff? Oh, the modal container. I need this to be over here. Oh, position relative. Position relative to the modal contain oh god what is that let me do margin zero padding oh no it's not supposed to be here it's supposed to be on the everything thing so okay um put that in there save that okay that fixes things and then the height of the modal container 100% or probably that doesn't make sense there is no content in it min oh oh this sucks It's definitely not working out. Um, how about I do a hundred VH? What? Um. Oh, but I need the Z index. No, 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 no. Here's the thing: Z index to be one or two or three. It's still not working out, so I'm gonna have to instead of doing position relative, I have to do position absolute like I had it before. Um, but then the thing is that that's not gonna end up working out. I actually want it to be negative. Actually, no, because that's. <sighs> Let me delete that. Hmm. Okay, it's working. It's also not working. Um, how about I set the height? Because min content is not really going to work because it's absolute. So, did it work? No, it didn't. Oh, this sucks. I could do another content. Oh, my God. Um, okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. All right, min content is not going to work. Modal container. I don't need the modal container. I need the overlay. The modal container, and then the overlay can be on the back of the modal. Um. The modal container. But it can take the modal. The modal container. Modal container. Let me think. So display flex justify content center align items center. All right. So at least that happens. But then this is gonna have to be 100 pH. So if I click add to cart, it's not gonna let me because it has to probably be Z index of one. Well I make 
the everything inside the actual container to have as the index of two so it's on top that way that happens but then the modal doesn't appear which is an issue so that means it's probably behind so the modal should have as the index of um what did i say of three the index of three so that it actually pops up but it's not popping up um wait yes i can do this hold on maybe i didn't need all of that maybe i could have just done when when i targeted this right i could have just told it to change the background color to have an overlay i think that would have worked no because that would be worse with images how to have a linear not a background images see like i know how to do that with an image but what about like a actual linear gradient no 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 <sighs> that's the problem i can't do that So we'd have to think um when this is targeted the model pops up but the model is not popping up so i'm assuming it's behind the card or the container so probably what needs to happen is i told the container to have a z index of two which means it's be it's actually on top of the modal container which is what i wanted and so everything in the container is accounted for until I get to the modal, and that should be on top because it's the index of three. Um, or maybe I want it to be in the same plane. Hmm. Well, that's not working out. Or sometimes what happens is that this doesn't work out, and then I have to individually tell it to have a seat index. No. Hmm. Hmm. It's literally not even working. Cause I need this modal container. To have a background of a linear gradient of 0 RGBA, 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.7, just copy that, paste that in there, and then it should become, oh, what did I do now, 0 0.77, 0 0.7, 0 0.77, background I'm so confused it's not as if it's oh cool it's like a blue
Ancient Box, so maybe... But this has worked before. Like, I literally just used it for the card content, bro. Like, what the heck? That's what I did. Like, what? Oh, I forgot to close the parenthesis, didn't I? Oh, wait. No, hold on. No, because literally tell me what's the difference. That's what I did at the beginning. So rude. See? Exactly. You see what's happening here? This is horrible. See, I knew I was right. It is that it's not working. Like, what? What is this monstrosity? Okay, this was a horrible idea. Let me just close it out. Um, I'll probably work on this separately. Um, I'll actually just leave it. Um, I'll do day three. Let's see again. Day three. Are you kidding? Day three. 32. Where's the stuff? Is this it? I don't want to read it. Um, overlay problem. Okay, so that's it for today. For the last time, let me actually show you what the final result of the actual thing that I wanted today um, was. So it's looking like this. It's very pretty. You click on add to cart, it pops up the item. Um, you click on X, it disappears. You click on add to cart, it pops up. Click on X, it disappears. Um, when you hover over the buy, it changes color, right? Um, when you hover over the cards, right, it has an overlay. Um, and then what else is the one thing that I'm missing? I said I was going to do something else. Hold on. Oh, the linear gradient. And then what else? I can say something. Oh, it's responsive. So when you, um, you know, have it like this, it's responsive. And so it turns from two columns to one column. So they're all, um, like, on top of each other. And it's very nice and responsive like this. So that's really nice here. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Bye.